It's now four minutes till eight o'clock. Most companies build a strong base at home before selling abroad. Mark Jampool recently visited a Sunnyvale computer company that almost from the beginning decided to concentrate on foreign markets. Here's Mark's report. Chromenko makes a large version of the microcomputer. The Mountain View company has seen a phenomenal growth rate since it first opened up about six years ago. Most of the growth has come because the company decided early in the game to concentrate on foreign markets. Chromenko actually sells more abroad than it does in the U.S. Chromenko began as a weekend business run by an assistant professor of electrical engineering at Stanford and by the assistant chairman of the department. The two men feel their academic background helps them to do business abroad. Chromenko is the largest supplier of computers to the People's Republic of China. In all, the company sells to 62 countries, including Japan, Mexico, Venezuela, Chile, Ecuador, Panama, Yugoslavia, French-speaking Africa, and both Israel and Saudi Arabia. Chromenko co-founder Roger Mellon says, each sales agreement has to take on the flavor of the country involved. There is also uh, a great deal more uh, handshake diplomacy. You have to, at times, give without written policy for gi giving. If the person has a defective part, you can't ask him for a receipt which is 15 days old always. You have to be more gracious uh, in your warranty considerations. About the biggest problem doing business abroad is getting paid. Kromenko uses bank letters of credit and federally insured loans as its primary instruments of payment. Kromenko originally went for foreign markets because economists at one of its suppliers, Texas Instruments, predicted a recession was coming. It was thought to be most certainly a, a U.S. recession at the very least, and uh, uh, a way to reduce your risk in a recession is to be involved in businesses in mu multiple countries. It was a question of allocation of resource, not of, of trying to set up a vigorous sales force to sell in one part of the world over the other. This is Mark Jampol for Business Today. Kremenko has just signed an agreement with Mitsubishi to distribute in Japan the computer will have Mitsubishi's name on it, but the insides will be Kremenko's. Mitsubishi is buying from Kremenko because a Japanese company doesn't have Kremenko's expertise in software. 8 o'clock now in the Bay Area. We'll be right back.